I'm Nicole and today we are going to do the Anchor Phenomenon video that goes along with the Arizona Water Festival curriculum unit. So before we start the demonstration, let's take a look at all of the parts we're going to use. We have a pot filled with room temperature water. We have a pie plate filled with ice. We have a hot pad for safety. We have a pot of boiling water, and we have a hot burner. So I'd like you to feel the bottom of this pie plate. Is it wet or dry? Dry. Is it colder than your hand or warmer? Colder. So what do you think all these parts will be used for in the demonstration? For the next part, you will be observing what happens to the water. When answering questions, use simple words to describe what you observe happening. What form of water is in the pot? Liquid. What do you see happening to the liquid water in the pot? It's stirring up, bubbling. It looks hot. Is it moving more or less than the water inside an unheated pot? More. Do you think hot water or cold water has more energy? Hot water. So what do you think the relationship between heat and energy is? So what's happening to the boiling water? The hot liquid water is turning to a gas. Yeah, can you see it? No, water in the form of gas is invisible to us. So why is the liquid water changing form to a gas? Because the water is getting hotter. Do you think the gas has more energy or less energy than the hot liquid? More, so much that it broke away from the liquid water surface and became a gas. What is the process for liquid turning into a gas called? Observe what happens when I put this pie plate with ice over the boiling water. What do you see happening? Why are liquid water drops forming on the bottom of the pan? Where is this water coming from? Was the pan wet at the beginning of the demonstration? No, the liquid is coming from the water that's in the form of a gas. Yes, so why is this happening? Was the pan with the ice in it colder than someone's hand at the beginning of the demonstration? The water changes from a gas to a liquid when the gas hits the colder surface. What is that process called? Why does the liquid water gather here again? The gas touches a colder surface, so it condenses to become liquid. Do you think the liquid water has more energy or less energy now than when it was a gas? It has less energy when it gets cooler. Then it changes back from a gas to liquid form. So take a look. Water is dripping from the bottom of the pie plate. Why is it dripping? Enough liquid water has come together and it's too heavy to keep sticking to the pan. What pulls the water down? Gravity. What do we call this process in the water cycle? So when the pie plate was over the boiling water, what happened to the water in a solid form? It melted. 
You mean it's changing form. What makes it do that? So in this demonstration, we had a pie plate full of ice, a pot of room temperature water, and a boiling pot of water on a hot burner. So what forms of matter has water been in during this demonstration? What does it look like in each of those three forms? So in solid form, water holds its shape whether inside or outside the container. In liquid form, water takes the shape of the container that it's in. In gas form, water isn't visible to our eye, so we can only prove that it's there by investigation. So what does this cold pan represent in the natural water cycle? Water molecules must have something to stick to in order to change from a gas to a liquid. Dust particles up high in the cold atmosphere give water molecules in gas form something to stick to. Remember that liquid water is sticky and sticks to other things, which is called adhesion. Water also sticks to itself. That's called cohesion. What does it mean again for water to condense? It changes form from a gas to a liquid because it gets cooler and lost energy. So what happens when a whole bunch of water molecules are all stuck together up there in the sky? A cloud forms. So think about this before you answer. What form is water when it's in a cloud? It's liquid. At least what we can see is liquid. If it's a gas, could we see it? No, it'd be invisible, so it's liquid. What causes precipitation? The liquid water in the cloud gets he too heavy and falls. Do clouds always precipitate? No, we live in Arizona where they often don't. Water! What makes Arizona so hot? The sun! What do you think the sun does in our water cycle? It heats things up. You mean like the electric burner? Yes. What could happen to liquid water with the sun's heat? It could change to a gas and evaporate. What could happen to solid water with the sun's heat? It could melt and flow as a liquid. So what makes the water cycle keep moving? You've seen a lot of steam in this demonstration. Is this steam a liquid or a gas? It's liquid because we can see it, just like the cloud. That's right. It's a liquid because we can see it.